Hi, my name is Dylan Penka, and I'm with Team Macaroni and Cheese. And for our project, we created this remotely monitorable turbine, which allows us to take wind speed information and the power output from it, and using MQTT, Telegraph, and Grafana, live stream that information into dashboards right here with useful heads up displays and time series graphs. So for this project, we actually modified an existing uh, wind turbine kit, uh, which is this one right here. Um, we modified it with a couple of different sensors. Uh, we replaced the original LED that the generator was powering with our own circuitry. And we also introduced a stepper motor in order to help rotate the um, turbine when it's um, not in facing the correct direction of the wind. Um, we also uh, created this uh, laser cut uh, housing for the turbine, and it houses all of our wiring inside. So one of the sensors that we created um, is a rotary encoder, um, but DIY. Uh, so we have a reed switch and neodymium magnets. And so as I rotate this, um, our RPM is updated in the dashboard. Um, and then down in the bottom, we have our two node MCUs. Um, this one we created a custom breakout board for so that we could connect the two different um, sensors up top. Um, and then we have another node MCU uh, to control the direction uh, of the stepper motor, and right now it's just oscillating. So what we did to calculate the voltage, current, and therefore power of this system was we had modified the LED and just simply wired up to where the LED originally was, and we created a voltage divider circuit. And in between the two resistors, we hooked it up to the 80 to the 10 bit ADC of the node MCU and just had to do a little bit of math to get the actual voltage and current values along with power. One of the unique things that we also did for this project was a wind direction circuitry sensor. So how this works is that this is in, uh, this is eight different uh, voltage divider um, circuits that are in the different cardinal directions, so north, northeast, etc. And how this works is that the, all the resistors are the same and same with the photoresistors. When the light shines in, the photoresistance uh, decreases, which causes a relatively higher voltage in, uh, in relative to the others. So then we know which direction the uh, wind is facing, and then it can update accordingly. So if I were to rotate this, it will change like that. There we go. Two different directions. And that was our AEP submission from Team Macaroni, Macaroni and Cheese. And cheese. <laughs>